The Galaxy S22 is the abandoned kid among other S22 siblings. Just like any other flagship smartphone series, it just isn't the main highlight of Samsung's marketing campaigns. There's less talkability about it, and yeah, pretty much everyone thinks it's a boring phone with just under the hood upgrades. But after using it for a few weeks alongside the S22 Ultra, I'm giving it more love and decided to do this video to tell you why you should give it a chance. And there's also one main reason for this, which is its size. Now, I review a lot of smartphones on the channel, and after a while of carrying big, chunky, large screen phones, I really miss small, compact phones that I could easily take it around with me on a road trip or during a weekend when I don't really use my phone heavily. The Galaxy S22 has the great compact form factor, power, and cameras that I need. Like other S22 siblings, the S22 is well built with glass and aluminum with Samsung's new armor aluminum construction that can withstand bands, which YouTuber PBK Review has brilliantly demonstrated that in his video with a series of stress tests. I'll link that video in below for you guys to check out if you're interested. So, the display here is a really bright and colorful dynamic Super AMOLED 2X panel that measures 6.1 inches diagonally and refreshes at 120Hz. The bezels are very slim as you can see here that reduces the phone's entire footprint which makes it very one-hand friendly and one of the rare Android flagships that you can text with one hand. It also comes with very good stereo loudspeakers that I can fire my Spotify playlist without connecting an external speaker. And compared to the iPhone 13 mini which I also love, the S22 offers a better media consumption experience. Now like its other siblings, the S22 doesn't compromise on performance as it is powered by a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. Coupled with this fast refresh rate, this is one of the most enjoyable devices that I have used this year and will be one of the things that I miss when I return this review unit to Samsung. But like other similar spec devices, the S22 can get warm really quickly when I'm doing a lot of texting and app switching. But that's already something I deal with most flagship these days and I will usually let it cool down before putting back into my pocket. In terms of cameras, the S22 comes with the same triple camera system as its larger plus sibling which I am really happy about. And like I said earlier, this is a great compact phone to bring around for work trips because it is super easy to handle for taking photos and selfies. Image quality from all three cameras are decent for a flagship smartphone, not unless you're someone that's super particular about details in photos and longer zoom range. Because you might have of course picked the S22 Ultra for that, but in compromise for a much heavier smartphone. In terms of video recording quality, the Galaxy S22's triple camera system delivered great video quality on all of its three cameras, with the main camera sensor being able to take up to 8K resolution at 24 frames, but that's something that you would rarely use because that's a really cinematic uh, kind of frame rate that you would rarely use, and most of the time you would be doing 4K at 30 or 60 frames, and it's supported on both the ultra wide and telephoto lens. On paper, the S22's 3700mAh battery might look underwhelming on a modern flagship phone. Sure enough, it will not get you through the day if you're pushing it and using the camera a lot, but in my test, one full charge will most definitely last a day with a moderate 3 hour screen on time, and I'm usually left with around 25% when I end my day. Though one thing that the S22 falls behind its plus sibling is its slower 25 watts charging speed, which I can still live with, but really, Samsung should really start learning from Xiaomi and Oppo on including faster charging on their phones. Bottom line, the Galaxy S22 is a really great, powerful, compact flagship with capable cameras that I would even go as far as to recommend this as a content creation device. Now, of course, if you want to get the Galaxy S22, I would recommend to go straight for the 256GB storage model because it only costs a mere 200 ringgit from the base 128GB storage model because you're going to take a lot of content. So you gotta need the storage, and this phone doesn't have expendable storage. So yeah, that's pretty much about my thoughts on the Galaxy S22. I really love it, and this phone really needs more love. So that's pretty much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on the channel because we have a lineup of them coming up in the coming weeks. So definitely stay subscribed, hit that bell icon to get notified of every new uploads on our channel, and I will see you guys in our next video.